Hi, this is Scott from Spectre Gear, and for today's video, I'm going to be talking about, uh, uh, and, and there I'll be doing a series of videos on, on different myths and misconceptions about certain sling systems. And uh, I'm going to start off with the three-point sling. And being in the sling business, I come across a lot of material on the internet. I have a lot of people bring stuff to my attention. And uh, uh, I, I saw a video a while back where a guy was really bagging on three-point slings pretty hard. And his, his thing was he, was he was claiming it was nearly impossible to be able to quickly and efficiently get into a three-point sling. Which, whenever I, whenever I come across that information, I'm a little bit, uh, what you call, bemused. Uh, but let me show you just uh, again because any any particular piece of equipment can initially maybe create a little bit of confusion or whatever but it 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 shouldn't be so uh in in this case with a three-point sling let me show you how how easy it is to get into the thing and and again you can find those videos yourself they're out there and pretty easy to pick up on uh so i've got my three-point sling and the quickest way to handle getting into a three-point sling is just at the rear connection point here just grab and pull out You've got two straps in your hand. Grab the one that's closest to the palm of your hand, pull out. You see the loop it creates? All you're going to do at this point is just put your head through that loop, and you're going to put your offside hand also through that loop, just like so. Now I'm into my three-point sling. It's genuinely that easy to get into and out of. Um, so, again, when you have somebody talking about a three-point sling, and they're saying, all oh, these things are impossible to get in and out of, they're... Uh, Pretty easy to get in and out of. So let me show you that one more time. So I grab at the rear connection point, I pull out, I grab the outside strap that's nearest the palm of my hand, I pull that out, I create that loop, and I just simply slide it over my head and put my, my offside arm through. And it's that fast. So with that, I'll kind of bring it to a close, but I just wanted to show you, you know, if you're thinking about a three-point sling and you had somebody at some point tell you, ah, oh, no, these things are like spaghetti straps, and no, forget it. Um, it's pretty easy to get in and out of. And there's reasons you would want to get in and out of it, and I'll save that for another video, uh, specifically on how to transition with three-point slings that don't have a transition release buckle on them and do cross shoulders. But that's pretty much it for now. I'll bring it to a close. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.